Hi guys, Arindam here. And in this video, I will show you how to get the artifact of the Skylord on Lost Island. So, we are currently situated close to the green obelisk. Let me show you where I am at, at the map. So, the artifact is present in the Boskar cave. And the Boskar cave is found close to the green obelisk. We have the bay over here and we have the entrance to the swampy lands over there and we have the deserts on that side. So the Boskar cave which contains the artifact has two different ent entrances and both of them can be accessed from the two sides of this river which I am going to show you right now. So I have constructed this shack over here which contains my respawning bed as well as my some of the boxes I use for storage. This is going to be my safe house for any subsequent runs and just beside it we have one of the two entrances for this particular cave. Now let me slow down a bit. So this part of the cave contains megalosauruses and because it contains megalosauruses you should not do this cave at night when they are awake. Instead, try to do this cave when it's daytime. Now, other than Megalosauruses, we have all of the other typical grave creatures like Arthopleuras, Onyx, Aranios, Megalania, and it contains a surplus number of Meganeura dragonflies. So, the ideal mounts for this cave are anything that can kill insects very fast, like Megatherium or even the Bilzebufo frog. But for this particular cave, I'm going to be using my Dinopithecus because the Dinopithecus will not be aggroed onto by any of these creatures and also the Dinopithecus is powerful enough to challenge and kill the, all of the creatures without any problems. Right, so we had actually taken the long entrance and the long entrance is going to eventually lead us to this location. 62 by 58.2 which is actually the entrance to the cave. Now, let me also show you the other part of the cave which contains the shorter entrance. As you can see, these are some of the sleeping megalos. Now, I had intentionally built my base on the longer entrance because the shorter entrance is actually a waterfall and there isn't much space to build. And obviously, you also have raptors like this. So, let me give you a visual representation of the longer entrance. So, the first entrance was over there, as you can see, denominated by my uh, hat or the cannon. And this is the shorter entrance. And we are currently at 61.6 by 56.7. Right? So we now know the two entrances. Let's just move in and get that that. Right then, we can actually kind of sort of park our creature over here because I do not see any hostile Megalanias. So this area contains Megalosauruses and Megalanias. It will not contain the other creatures as far as I know. And let's just go in. I'm going to be, I'm not going to be using any combat for this because I'll mostly rely on the Mandrill or the Rhinopithecus so that it avoids all combat. Now I am. I need to actually move into this zone for the mandrill to actually uh, have enough space to uncryo because this part will be blocked by the Dinopithecus's large size. Right. Now this cave, just like all the other Lost Island caves, has lots of paths which are windy and narrowing and complex. And all of these other paths, which does not have the artifact, will have lots of loot crates and other places to discover. It is very nice and very rewarding. But for the purpose of this video, I will show you only the artifact, the shortest and fastest route. And for this artifact, the Skylord in the Boskar cave, you need to always take the left hand path. As Daniel Craig in Casino Royale said in the famous torture zone. To the left to the left so we are going to always take to the left always take the leftmost path and you can see none of the insects are aggroing onto it 
and here we have our artifact pretty simple way let me show you the coordinate it's 61 by 59.5 and we can easily sail out of the uh, cave now that we have the artifact and it should be a smooth sailing if you would not have followed the clear instructions and you would be lost in the cave just like all the other caves it has lots of other paths okay let me show you here we actually cannot traverse this path even if we want to so i definitely need to cryo this guy up also, when you have a Cinemacrops above you, you should press and hold R, enable the auto scream but enable it only when you have aggro, otherwise even if you have no aggro, you would still unintentionally uh, aggro those Arthropleurus and that will be very bad for business. So yeah, that's about it. It was a very simple and straightforward video. And now we have all four artifacts to get to the Gamma Dinopithecus King boss. And hopefully I should be giving you a video about how I'm going to kill the Gamma Dinopithecus King in the next video. But that's it for today. I hope to see you soon. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.